We are joined now from the dugout by the best pitcher in the game, in my opinion. In your opinion, Tim, too? Absolutely. Justin Verlander, who is, well, he doesn't have a record yet. He has a no decision, but uh, you have to be awfully pleased with how you pitched on Thursday in the home opener. Yeah, definitely pleased. Uh, you know, it's a goal of mine to get off to a good start. Uh, my April's in the past haven't been too well, haven't gone too well. So, uh, you know, that was one of my goals in spring training this year and last. But I feel like having learned from my experiences last year and, and what made me successful, I was able to draw on that uh, this spring training in my first start and uh, just kind of carried over. Justin, the one thing that struck me is that I don't think I've seen a pitcher with as good a curveball in his first start since Sandy Koufax <laughs> I, and I'm serious about that That's Kof quite a name. Koufax could Koufax could have a good curveball when they broke camp here's a fly ball in the left at the wall fielder has his first Atta, baby. see now I'm not even going to give him a high five oh. go ahead put the headset down well you can get back on all right be a teammate all right Prince Fielder the new addition to this team there's uh, Justin Verlander's reaction, and I, I don't blame you. Those <laughs> runs are going to benefit you one of these <laughs> games, right, Justin? Weren't you joking, Justin, with Dave Dombrowski over the offseason about just, yeah, why don't we go out and sign Prince Fielder, and then not too long after you did? Yeah, well, we do a thing every year. We come up here to Detroit in January for Tiger Fest and just kind of uh, do a tour around Detroit. And so we're around management a lot at that time. So uh, I was sitting down having lunch with Dave uh, one afternoon. And I was kind of joking with him, you know, hey, Prince is still out there. Uh, you know, he looked pretty good in a Tiger uniform and, uh, you know, just kind of joking. And I guess uh, a couple days later, Mr. Illich gave him the call and said, hey, let's try to get this thing done. And that's just a testament to Aaron. Here's a fly ball in the left off the bat of Avila. That's gone. A two-run shot. 5 nothing, and we're going to lose our interview guest again. No, I've given him enough high fives. <laughs> Avila goes deep, and that's three home runs on the day for this loaded Detroit lineup. Yeah, see, now i got to stay on here now, boys. You guys have started something. I might have to do this every year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you were in a, a commercial for, uh, for the video game MLB 2K, and... Uh, they tell me you were in it. I wasn't really watching you during that commercial. <laughs> I was watching your co-star. Uh, yeah, it's only natural. <laughs> That's uh, Kate Upton, who uh, it would it, give us the premise of, of the spot. Uh, well, it's just uh, MLB 2K12. They're doing a thing this year where it's a uh, you know, perfect game challenge, win a million dollars. And uh, so I'm trying to get into the perfect club, and uh, Kate's working the door, and she's not going to let me in. I'm, I'm in disguise as Randy Johnson. Because uh, he's throwing a perfect game. And Here's a ground ball I, uh, to Euclid. I think I, I, I did a pretty good Randy Johnson. I heard he was pretty pleased. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it's the hair and the whole thing. Here's the commercial right here. Let's play it, and then we'll get your thoughts. They spent a long time on this wig, by the way. Can you throw a perfect game in MLB 2K12? Win the million-dollar perfect game challenge and get inside? I hope so. Mr. Johnson, any words of wisdom? Uh, I'm here for the lobster. Randy? <laughs> Justin Verlander, again? Kate, come on, please, let me in. Cy Young, MVP. <laughs> what do you guys think about my acting? I thought it was great. <laughs> your, I, your timing, the one thing we didn't show was you saying, hi. Yeah, my comedic timing, man, I, you know, it's just natural. You can't, you can't help that. You can't teach that. Pitch is inside the dirks. By the way, uh, Delman Young, that was a base hit, no error on Adrian Gonzalez. His account goes to one and one. You're, you're one guy. And, and I know there are others, but you're one guy who, as a starting pitcher, I know you're serious on day games, on the day of your games, but you like to have fun. We've seen you, even in the postseason last year, you you don't take yourself or the situation too seriously until you need to. Yeah, and that's the point. You know, we, we're around each other so much, and I'm at the ballpark so much. you got to have fun. It's such a grind. Uh, you know, you got to be able to get away from it and just enjoy it. And uh you know, doing things like lighting Don Kelly's foot on fire and, uh, you know, little things like that. It's just kind of, uh, it's just it's just fun. A lot of talk in the papers and on radio call-in shows about Jim Leland pulling you after eight innings in the opener. I'm sure that, that didn't surprise you at all. No, after the uh, after the seventh, he, he came and told me. He said, you've got 110, and that's it. I'm not letting you go over that on opening day. So um, I knew going into that eighth inning that, 
even if I didn't have a quick one that inning, he was going to come take me out, and he told me that. So you know, I got through that one, and, and I knew that was it. And uh, I mean, can you fault him? We've got a closure that was perfect last year, and uh, you know, it didn't go great for him, but we still won the ball game. And Justin, you still haven't answered that question about a curveball. Have you ever had a curveball <laughs> that good that early? No. Uh, you know, and it, I, every year I write down a, a list of things that helps me. And uh, last year was kind of a, a long backswing and, and short on the front with my breaking ball. And I felt like that kind of carried over in spring training. Right away, I had a good curveball in spring and, and just uh, maintained it all spring training. That was the goal is to keep it where it's at. So it's uh, midseason form, starting season. Last question. It's not that great, but I'll throw it out there anyway. Which means more to you, the uh, MVP award or the Cy Young award from last year? Uh, I, I think the MVP. You know, uh, that's something that growing up as a kid, I remember seeing Roger Clemens win it. And, uh, you know, I always dreamt of that. And then as I got older and into the game of baseball, I realized that that's something that may never happen again. And it's kind of a surreal moment to realize that, uh, you know, here I was watching him and my idol do it. And here I am however many years later and, and, and I won it. It's just a, a pretty, pretty cool experience. So we know this next time we have a Tigers game and you're not pitching, it'd be better if you're pitching. But uh, if we ask for an interview after two home runs and a three run fourth inning, I know you're going to say yes. Of course. Yeah, I'll come back next inning, too. <laughs> All right, good. Justin, thanks. All right, thanks, guys.